people are dealing with new concerns. Yeah, thieves out breaking into property as rising waters force people from their homes. Fox 13's Hannah Kim is live in Mount Vernon with the very latest. And Hannah, already victimized by this flooding and then victimized again by a bunch of despicable people. Yeah, so David and Aliana is pretty frustrating to hear that, right? We will get to that story in just a second. But first, I want to show you what the Skagit River looks like. I want to take this opportunity and show you. You can see it is still fast moving. A little bit of good news here. It is slowly receding, but it is still considered major flood stage. The threat the last couple of days really keeping residents and business owners on their toes here in Mount Vernon. When we have emergencies like this, community members help each other out. We see the best in humanity, but some Sometimes we also see the worst. As we mentioned, a business owner says thieves took advantage of voluntary evacuations here, breaking into his store. They did this one as well. It's been a rough couple of days for Rob Martindale. Here's one of the doors <laughs> that they pried open. While he was worried about the levee breaking, thieves broke into his Mount Vernon salvage shop. They just smashed them all, pried them all open and smashed them. Rob says the crooks stole about $10,000 worth of items from Farrell's auto wrecking. Oh, they stole a car too. I forgot to tell you that. They threw everything into a van and stole a van out of here. Yeah, it's a pretty crummy thing to do. <laughs> News of the break in traveling fast. So we're coming back to have cars in the driveway and be here. Laura Massengale says she is back to her property earlier than expected after evacuating for days just so that thieves know that Flyway Farm is protected. But we still have 30 acres of, you know, paradise. But all day today, she still had a bag packed in the car and her animals in safekeeping just in case something happened to the levee right next door. So the horses are in Arlington, the dogs are in Marysville. So it took, you know, some coordination to figure out where things could go. Laura is grateful the levee is holding up and that her community is not underwater like others up north. Yeah, kind of eye opening and we at some point panicked a little bit. But she and others are very concerned about potential damage to the levee after all the water subsides. We're hopeful that it doesn't and they keep maintaining the dike and improving on the you know, weaknesses they found this time. When it comes to that work, it is just the beginning. Dyke commissioners in this area will be assessing the levee once the water subsides. In the coming days, they will work with the Army Corps of Engineers to work on any repairs that may be needed. But I also want to direct your attention to this road right here to my left. This is River Bend Road, and you see that all that gravel out there, the work that's being done. We are told that the Army Corps of Engineers are working on this road. They have to keep this road from eroding. They cannot have any cracks here because it is connected to the levee. And obviously, if this road goes, it also poses a threat to the levee here in Mount Vernon. Hannah Kim, Fox 13 News.